Apple is working on their next big product, a mixed reality headset. And new job listings for the company offer new insight into the product, according to Bloomberg. Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley here with the details. Dan, good to see my man. What are we learning? Yeah, so uh, we know that or have known that Apple's working on a headset. They plan to release some kind of AR, VR headset in the future. We're expecting it in 2023. The news here is more about the kind of software that they're potentially looking at. It's not, you know, about the, the product itself. Look, they've talked about how the, the resolution is going to be amazing, how, you know, it'll be super advanced, might run an M2 chip, uh, the same thing that powers the current generation of Macs. It's that now we're hearing, uh, according to these job listings, that they may be building not a metaverse, but maybe something equivalent where you'll be able to interact with people in a virtual world. Now, you know, Apple has gone out and said, look, we're not going to call anything metaverse. Um, it's something that they push back against. Um, you know, they've discussed how they have a different style approach or want to have a different style approach to this kind of technology. But it is interesting to see Apple getting into this. And the, some of the other listings um, are about, uh, or some, some of the other uh, information about this is that they'll have productivity apps. I mean, I don't really want to sit there and, you know, do work with a headset on for hours on end, right? Like it's already tough no. doing that in front of a computer. I don't want to strap something to my oh. face. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because this comes at a time for Apple where, you know, we're seeing Meta struggle so mightily to get this off the ground. And yes, Apple does know how to sell products way more than Meta. I mean, I don't know if you remember this, but there was a Facebook phone at one point. And there's a reason why you I probably forgotten. don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> so true. it's, you know, the, the proof is there that Apple knows how to do this more so than other companies. But, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see when they eventually launch if they are able to be the company uh, when it comes to these kinds of headsets. I mean, you figure with Apple and its ecosystem, they probably have a better chance than others. But again, you have this issue of making a product that no one's really asking for and nobody really seems to want. Like people wanted phones. So you understand the smartphone and how Apple got its foot in there. I'm really still not seeing why this is a priority for them at the moment. Yeah, I think the, the idea is, look, they got in uh, on phones, not on the ground floor, by the way. You know, th there were other uh, devices out there, BlackBerry, right? That was out there before the iPhone. People were in love with those. But they saw that uh, potential and they ran with it. And, you know, I think they're, they, along with Meta, along with, you know, Microsoft to a degree, uh, yeah, every company basically is trying to ensure that they're not left in the dust. Uh, Microsoft was left in the dust when it came to smartphones. Meta is now suffering uh, because they don't control the hardware that their software runs on. That's why they're so interested in this. Apple does not want to be left behind. They want to make sure that they have the power to continue to operate as they are, as one of the, the richest companies on earth. Uh, and so that's why they're really pushing forward in this, this initiative. Whether or not consumers are on board with that, I mean, that really remains to be seen. We didn't know the tablets were going to be huge iPad came out. Uh, that really blew up. And then we saw a bunch of other companies try to go along with uh, what Apple was doing. They never really touched it as far as uh, capability. So perhaps that was, that's what we'll see when it comes to these headsets. But, you know, according to some statistics, people buy their Quest 2 headset, put it on, don't really go back to it that often. People go into the, the Horizon World uh, app that uh, Meta has, they don't really go back to it. So, you know, how Apple's going to get people to want to come back and keep wearing these headsets I think that's going to be the, the big to-do for them. Well, they're usually ahead of the game, so I won't bet against them, but great to get that update. Dan Howley, thanks so much.